Howdy folks, sorry about the audio, I have a pretty hefty fan near me. Um, I noticed something today, uh, and I thought it was uh, kind of interesting, so I thought I'd share it. This is um, the, the CyberPower uh, Systems uh, CP1500 PFC LCD. It's a pretty common um, pure sine wave uh, UPS, and of course I've got the front panel um, so sort of disconnected here. Not disconnected, it's off the unit, but of course it's fully connected. You can see it's, it's active. This UPS is currently running. Um, and this is one of the, the older the older ones. This is actually the first generation with the one amp chargers. The second generation had the two amp chargers. The third generation has a color screen and all the other stuff. But it's basically the same UPS. Uh, it's got the same model number and everything. Um, so this probably applies to all of them. But uh, anyway, we, we've been having some electrical maintenance. And so I've had some, uh, some sort of uh, quite extended power outages. And uh, so what I've, what I've done is... Uh, because this UPS got very discharged, I wanted to charge it up as quickly as I could. So I've just got a um, a big power supply which is providing um, you know 14 or so volts DC uh, high current into this uh, little uh, DC to DC um, buck boost converter, and I'm just feeding that directly into the batteries here. Um, and of course, this is a 24 volt UPS, so it's just two uh, 12 volt monoblocks in series. And I've got a little cooling fan to cool this thing because uh, those trans those transistors and that diode they get incredibly hot um, when you have pretty high input current. Um, and I've actually added uh, heat sink compound and stuff to try and improve the cooling, but I couldn't get away from a fan anyway. Uh, this is all besides the point. So what I what I noticed today uh, is that the the battery percentage monitoring uh, on this UPS is fake um, when it's charging, which is is really funny. Um, now. This UPS, um, I've been using these for years, and I know that they're a relatively dumb UPS. It's one of the reasons why I kind of like them. It, it's, it, it kind of goes both ways. Um, having a dumb UPS is nice because you can outsmart it really easily, and it allows you to do lots of really good stuff. And it's also kind of annoying because you know certain things happen, like if you take the battery out, this UPS it doesn't really know or care. Um, and that's great because you can hot swap batteries, you can do all sorts of stuff. It doesn't have a BMS, it doesn't check the battery, you know, internal resistance, it doesn't do all that stuff, which is nice. Um, but at the same time, you know, if you had a battery go open circuit, then, uh, you know, it won't know. You won't know until it fails. And that actually happened to me recently. I actually had a, a battery that I bought only about a year or so ago. Uh, it actually failed um, open, which was uh, quite annoying. But these are, these are new batteries. And, of course, it has a battery percentage uh, readout. And uh, that, during discharge, is going to use the, the voltage across the batteries to sort of using the lead acid discharge curve to estimate, you know, how much, um, you know, as far as percentage goes, um, charge you have left. But when charging, um, it is entirely fake. And uh, I didn't realize that until today. So, uh, you know, when you look at the charge, and I'll show you that in a second, I have a graph of the charge as reported by this UPS. Um, the, the, you know, of course it, it increment, it goes up, um, you know, linearly and that's fine because these, these have a 10 watt charger in them. And of course they use constant current, um, for the bulk charge. And then they use a, uh, you know, the, the constant voltage for the, the end of charge. And so you expect to see it be linear, but of course I added this, which originally was, um, putting it about 70 watts in addition into the uh, the batteries to top them up. And uh, now it's actually gone from constant current to constant voltage. So we're actually at the equalization charge voltage of these two, which is 28.8. And so the, the, the current is what you're seeing there. It's, it's dropping uh, as we complete the charge. Um, but the data, as far as the uh, charge percentage goes, uh, is exactly identical uh, to what it looks like uh, without this uh, adding in any charge. It's perfectly linear, and it's exactly the same slope. So what that tells me is that this does not monitor the battery voltage and current at all during charging, and it's basically just a timer. It just, it just takes whatever percentage it was at and just increments it by one every few minutes. Um, and so when this reaches 100, um, you know, if you have a UPS with, you know, a relatively discharged battery, it could say 100 and it not be even close to 100. Um, or, in my case, the battery is already, uh, uh, you know, approaching 100%, and yet, you know, it still says it's 50-something percent, which is not correct, not even close. 
Um, in fact, this battery would technically be 100% uh, as it is now. I'm just doing the equalization charge on it. So realistically, it's already 100%. And yeah, you can see it just counted up to 59. It's, it's completely fake. And just to show you what this looks like uh, on a graph here, um, you can pretty much sort of, so ignore all this stuff and then look right here. So this, this right here, the you know battery was fully charged, then we had a discharge, and this is the battery charge increasing off of its own 10 watt built-in charger. And you can see the slope there, very you know, perfectly linear, uh, whatever. And then over here, this section here is, you know, we had, uh, we had another, another power event. Um, I ended up shutting this machine down, so that's why there's a gap in the, the data here. But this over here is charging again, but with, um, with the additional 70 watts input from my, uh, my charger in parallel. And you can see it's exactly the same. Um, so that, that proves to you that this is not actually looking at the battery. And I don't know why they do this, to be honest, because they know the battery voltage and they know the battery current. Um, I know that for a fact because they, they have to know that in order for the other features to work. So, um, you know, you can, you can totally do it. You know, you look at the voltage when you're in constant current mode and you look at the current when you're in constant voltage mode and you can absolutely come up with a rough estimate and it doesn't have to be, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but um, you can do better than this. So I'm, I'm really surprised why they do this. Um, maybe somebody knows, but uh, yeah, this, it's just kind of funny. Um, and if you've got a UPS and, you know, don't, when you're charging it, don't go by the, uh, the percentage. So, you know, if you, if you're going to do some sort of test on your, your UPSs or you're going to do some planned power ma maintenance or whatever, um, you know, make sure you, you charge the batteries for a long time before you do your discharge. Um, because going by the percentage, at least on this UPS, uh, it doesn't mean anything. Um, you know, I'm sure they probably calculate that, you know, this slope is calculated based on some standard battery and, you know, you know, whatever, but, um, I can tell it's, it's not perfectly correct. Um, especially when I got these new batteries, um, and I, I same thing, it charged up to hundred percent and I did a discharge test and it plummeted immediately from hundred percent, um, down to like 30. And it was because the, you know, the, the, the charge that it was reporting was just wrong. Um, and so this is probably why they say, you know, when you get your UPS, you know, plug it in for at least 10 hours or whatever before you use it. It's probably to uh, avoid any weird weirdness to do with the fact that it's not looking at the at the at the actual charge. So anyway, um, this is more waffly than it needs to be, but I just thought that was kind of neat.